Welcome on back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, last time we actually left off finding the Witch's Island and Seeker. So, let's hop right on in and shut up and play the game. Also, if you did notice, I got a uh, new uh, wall LED light. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, you can check out um, where to get it over on my TikTok. I cover it and promoted it. That's how I got it. So if you want to get your own LED lights, go ahead, check that out. They're pretty cheap and well worth it. Alright, what does she see that I can't? Two things, okay. Is this? Not this, but... No, I did not mean to drink that. Give it. Aha! But yeah, tonight's gonna be a long night for me, because I plan on recording a crap ton of this. And maybe, keyword, maybe. Um... Some more indie games for y'all. What is this? Sorry, no can do. Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. I have to come back then, if I ever do actually come back. Because I've said the, that about a lot of different places, and we haven't gone back to. For example, on uh, taking on the uh, specters that were. Even though I saw a rough time. <clears throat> so how is everybody? Stop at some point. Here would be all right. Has been a pretty nice, well, week. Back, back last week, I should say. Uh, I actually got to chill out and relax with the family and spend time with them. Uh, Spark went down for those that actually seen the shorts. Uh, I took it down only for the fact that apparently some of y'all don't like it, but oh well. But yeah, y'all are get getting that update here and now. But yeah, um... For those that don't know, I work Spark, which is a a um ba ba da ba da ba da. Ba. Words are hard. It is a delivery gig, kind of like um. Do we not have anything we gonna upgrade? Okay. No, we have everything, don't we? Oh no. Yeah, I'll take that. As I was saying, um, we, that bit, no, not we, I, um, do deliveries through Spark, and for some odd reason, I don't know why, but the system stated, oh no, you can't sign in because you were signed in by two, two phones with the same name aka the same phone so uh, i had a whole thing with supports trying to get it fixed and that's the wrong button again dude trying to get it fixed and it took about three days just to get it fixed uh, i think i over exaggerated in the short but there it is I still can't do anything with that, can I? No. Yeah, sucks. But yeah, now I'm back on the road, um, able to work. Banging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> what dolls? Yeah, you did. Oh, those dolls. The ones that we've been randomly finding throughout this whole game, okay. Before you say it, yes, I'm scared of dolls wholeheartedly, but those those aren't really scary looking dolls. 
It's got to be like Chucky size or something like that. Either that or freaking mannequins. I hate mannequins. Which, ironically, um, I'll be covering a, a game that has mannequins in it. And so, uh, Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. Can't wait for that. I'm pretty sure CK is going to enjoy watching it. What is that? What is what? Antia? I have no idea what that is. There's another portal thing, and she's not coming over here, so. Just take that. No, stop. Ch I drank all my potions because I can't remember certain buttons. Seriously? Well, if I die, you know why. I'm just going to venture over here before. Okay. That's a locked area. Yeah, it's already showing me that, so I can't go that way. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Grab this. And I'll grab the void and time loop. This to know is not to control the witness is not a understand the witness is not to understand to explore is not to own all of these humble principles may just dear my dearest dis disciple are particularly true when it comes to the void I wish I could tell more but my knowledge uh is crumbling have i known more will i never trust the void as which is we take care of the balance between living and the dead we keep the gates we heal the wounds but what come what sometimes soars from the other side is deadly soon enough you have learned the rituals the songs and the words soon enough you will walk the, thresh the threshold like I did. Mark my word, my dearest. Do not lose yourself in the up uplificating path. Omphliscating path of this other land. Yes, we dare to travel the forbidden territory. territory. Yes, we may sometimes hide under this clock cloak. But only like the nimblest fly through the fields of cobwebs in the darkest of nights, the deadliest risk is not the temptation. To go further and beyond, to uh, far from the, our dim lights, to every comet back, no, the deadliest risk lies in the nature of the void itself. This is not only the destination of the dead, it is their very own domain. And time means nothing to them. Time, how it fall, uh, flies and vanishes like dried, dried sand. Is there a deadly? Eh, is there a deadliest po potion for us? Deadly. Okay. Is there deadliest potion for us in the blink of an eye? You are fifteen years old in the heartbeat. In a heartbeat, you're already dead. Okay. The wording kind of messed with me there. Okay, we can't go over there yet. I'd love to, to get that chest, though. Considering how many brambles and shit are blocking our path, I'm assuming we're going to learn how to get through these roots soon. Plus, uh, if y'all remember, we have to deal with the concept of... Uh, weeding out these specters and ghosts that are haunting... 
Don't you stick with me? No. He'll tell me if I can't go further. Because she's not with us. Hmm. Okay. Seeker's notes. Search. Sheridan. I entirely forgot her name. So sorry. Uh, prepared everything you'll need for the ritual. Take them and next time get your own ingredients. Seeker. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be here yet. Yep. Not supposed to be here yet. I'm going to go back. And actually go ahead with the main objective. L.E.U. No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was. It's just I was lost and I had nowhere to go. I had oh, wow. no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. Interesting. And here he is, the other Viridian. manager. That's her name. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. <laughs> or so later. Decades ago. Never mind, it's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. Uh, why is there no native presence? Presence. Okay. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They oh. have been here. But they have never settled. Wise sense. men and women okay. know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. Okay, uh, I need to increase my fan real quick, so I will be cutting this part out. And we're back. We must reclaim Antia's body. Antia's body. We must reclaim Antia's body. But Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. Lovely. The nightmare makes the fog. Are these lands plagued? Nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare is the fog. Each grows the other as their influence strengthens. Lovely. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the dark woods. The work has begun. It must continue. 
Who are you exactly? Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Aye, that much I knew. Are you linked to the Nightmare's Wrath? Iridium, sound familiar? Really? Okay. Ceridian. Name sounds very familiar. To a Scotsman, it should. Once, a long time ago, I too was named Seeker. An old friend called me Ceridian. Little Seeker, he said. Serahin, I. When I needed a new name, I took the one he'd given me. Or at least a form of it that fits my tongue. <laughs> Ceridian fits me well, I think. Or bring us here. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions. Of course and we do. I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. The nightmare is stronger. How can we defeat it? How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The nightmare won't like that. Obviously. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. Help the people responsible for our fate? What is the Void? Uh, yeah. Just going off the notes that I found, I'm pretty sure we know what the Void is, but we're, I'm going to ask the question anyways for them. What is the Void? What is this Void? If there's a place beneath the Incarnate and the Invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have, and not before time. That's enough for now. What? Come on! Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns. Why do you get to walk in riddles? You find safety. In the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is okay, breached. Follow the beacons. Do not stray, and all will be well. Our Seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. Uh, how did Seeker know where to find me? By the beach as I drowned. You sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. 
I guess that's the best answer we can expect. <laughs> yeah. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. About the nightmare. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. Like what? What do you know of if the water fell? Deborah. Deborah. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. How was the beast linked to Nightmare? Yeah, Deborah. No. Was. Let's go with the beast. We know the beast was linked to the Nightmare. But we're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. Oh, good. We get to ask about both. What do you know of Deborah? What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. So, yeah, overall... She said no. Ah. Let her burn. Show me your words. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, shiny, shiny, what's this? A sharp black and green gem fragments from the witch code. Okay, okay. Um, ooh, you have goodies that I can steal, yes. Yeah, oh, it's so fucking expensive though. Okay. Mm. Hitting enemies with a rifle increases the damage of the next. Okay. Hitting enemies with a manifestation grants seven banisher points. Defeating enemy with red restores thirty-five spirit points, but but sprint points gain gains are reduced by. It. Mm. Ah. No, I do not know. Mm. I, I don't know. Ah, it's crap. It's, we'll, we'll grab that one. Can't afford that one no more. We'll grab this one just in case. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. <laughs> there are many ways to enchant an item or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too yeah she does so that's the side quest of the first item goodbye thank you Ceridian. we'll be off before you leave tell me what did you choose what do you mean each of you made a promise to the other what was it what did you choose i chose to stay Lives for a life, an expensive bargain. 
I made a promise. I'll pay the price. I do not judge the deal. I worry about the cost. Yeah. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. Oh, that's what you were messing with. Awesome. I'll take that. Or anything else? That's the key. What's in here? Help yourself and take all the help you need. Is it worth it though? Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like it. Damage dealt by red and Antea is increased by 25 against wounded enemies, but decreases 90% against full health enemies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, let's equip that. We'll have to upgrade it. Take. Turning key. More stuff to read. All right. Songs from the moon. Dear old child, if you ever fulfill your destiny and choose to leave New Eden, remember that there will be always... There will always be a place for you in the belly, uh, belly of the moon. Until then, may this humble book by yours be yours truly. Remind you that you have many hidden sisters. Nedra. No idea who that is. Okay. Seeker's notes. Between the runes, there are scribbled notes. Find on the left the house Hades, the invisible god of the dead. A spring, Tifa, the lake of oblivion, and nearby a white ice. What? Rippers rising? Do not approach the source. A second source, you'll find the cold water flowing from the lake Menemocene? Menemocene. Goddess of memory. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm watching Percy Jackson and listening to a podcast on it, and I don't remember that one. Uh, guards stand before it. Say, I am son of the earth and of the starry sky of a celestial race, and you too know this. And from the moment with the pantheon of heroes, you shall be severed. Virgin. Better per pro, better prosy, prosyphony, dancing across. Yeah, prosyphony, dancing across the hymn and back then. Dionysus wants to go and wants to return. Then again later, Orpheus. Then, Ir, Iridius. I bid the soul of Orpheus use singing. Such notes as were belled to the string through iron tears down Pluto's cheek and made it hell a grant that love did seek. Is Milton their best? Not impressive. What a dolt. A thing is a thing when it is countable. The first order in numbers. Theonal? Theon? Physis? Physis is made of things unlimited and things limiting both the cosmos as a whole and everything in its philosophy. I am terrible with great gods! Or is this Roman as well? A lot of. Uh, Unlimited things cannot be accounted, so things are by their nature both 
countable and uncountable. I hate this. An image of two overlapping circles. The visi... Visco... Isis? Isis? By which the interaction of two circles identical creatures the doorway. Okay. Witchery. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Banishing, of course, is famously safe. Supposedly. Considering what the hell we're doing. Is that your bed? Or... No, that can't be your bed. That... That... Does... I, I don't know what that is. That looks menacing, though. Hey, can we just steal some of your essence? Not yours in particular, but the weaved essence. That that would be great. No? Okay. Fuck the seeker. What if I don't want to right now? Come on, we've work to do. Shut up. I'm looking around. You don't like it? Get over it. Yep, that's something we can't access yet. Do, 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 do. How much you want to bet I'm not supposed to be over here either? I'm not seeing Jack do the spot over here. Yeah, no. Alright, I guess I'll talk to Seeker. This is interesting. And down we go to speak to Seeker. Why can't I just drop down? Not that big of a drop. Not gonna kill us. Unless you break your ankle somehow. Alright. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we That's saw true. on the other side of the island, that was a void breach. Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. Yeah, I found that one this already. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town oh, since the bridge fun. burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? Yeah, we're not ready. The nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. About the void. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another. As Ceridian taught me. I don't dally. Nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. Uh, about the nightmare. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think the nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath. 
as I accept the rain. <laughs> A new Eden surely deserves the flood. Considering the secrets we found, I can't fight that. How about you? Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. <laughs> about Deborah. So, who's Deborah? Sorry, I, I'm. I know no Deborah. Get like a kink in my neck. I'm trying I've to get comfy. Deborah. All right. Ask her about the cursed item. Yeah. We found a cursed object. An object. What object? A chest, locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. Okay, yeah. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Not really a ah, wilderness. I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. Who? I'm sorry, who? Fear God Waterbury, local holy man. Hermit. Died years ago. Mm. On my wanders, I'd meet his ghost from time to time. Crazy old man. More bark than bite, though. Did he have a thing for making cursed boxes? Fear God Waterbury had a talent, and he used it to lock things away. Things he considered too dangerous to leave free. How many chests are there? Ah, chest. How many more are there? I didn't ask, and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. Hmm. So I'm assuming this is more or less a go here, go here, go here, and collect all of them for a super awesome thing. I don't know if I'm going to be trucking along on actually getting all of these, though. How do we get... It open. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know we can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. I hope the story yes. actually brings us I do so to go that way. I do so little chats across the hem. Well, let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist. The Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Okay. That was weird. I don't know if you've seen that, but... Um, frames kind of sucked with one of those, or two of those leaves dropping. Uh, because I really don't want to go back, we're going to go into the cave and to the void first. And if I remember right, yeah, it's over here. Is this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out. Considering, um, how big this world is, I'm pretty sure we'll have a chance to actually go and get the thingy. Form. Void travel. That's a new one. Oh, that's utterly terrifying. So we literally get dragged in. Got it. My God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. Oh, shit. Um, that's, that's your drop. Do 
Yeah, I definitely can say that it's a void. Up we go. This place looks barren, lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. Is this it? This is the underworld. Oh. Let's not linger. That, that note makes sense now. Nope, not listening. Not li- Oh, great. Spectres. Did you hear that? Yes. Keep moving. There's more up ahead. <laughs> oh, nothing there. Is this just going to be a straightforward kind of thing? There. A way out. It's you. Christian. I'm there. What the? What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What? Oh, fun. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. And they want revenge. That's that's. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here as soon as we can, shall we? Sister. And say, what have you not told us? I know being a banisher has its secrets, dead. but... Something's wrong. Oh, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. Inside the void, enemies are able to regenerate their health. Antea powers are also amplified. She deals more damage to spectres. Interesting. Assuming we have to kill the sorrow oh. to actually get anywhere. Every totem killed makes it stronger. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Owie. Yeah, I, I, I could tell. Thanks for the update. I don't know, but we need to go. Yeah, 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 shut up. What's behind here? Anything? Nope, okay. Then, yeah, it's time to get the hell out of here, then. Before they come back.
Get me the hell out of here. I wonder whose hand that is, though. Considering they're reaching through the void and the real world. The living world. The hell was that? We have so learned the void traveling virtually now. Void I don't know. Displayed on the map. Void branches continue contain many dangers, but also assuming rewards. All right, where the hell are we? Map. Oh. Okay. So we're on the other side of the island. Cool. Ooh, a chest. And give me that. Oh, hey, dead buddy. Um, you don't need that no more. New rifle, swift shot. Uh, rifle, weak spot, hits damage is increased by 20. Yeah, that's worth it. Ooh, it's got a scope too. Getting ever so close. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I That's died true. because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought... For, for a moment, I thought of them. Those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming. Wings. Sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. You gave those ghosts their uh, ascent. You're here with me. Each people. Those ghosts are gone. You asked for their ascent and I gave it to them. They're not in the void. I know. This void. Is it hell? Like in the scriptures? The scriptures? Whose scriptures? It's just a... What if all the teachings of my youth were wrong? What if what we just saw is what awaits me for my sins? I became a banisher to help the living by ending the suffering of lingering ghosts. But we don't end their pain. We condemn them to an eternity of suffering. We curse them. Rory, you are the kindest, most compassionate banisher I have ever met. Don't let an old god scare you into thinking otherwise. This void is the work of no god. What if they come back? What if the souls I blamed come for me? They'd have every right. The spirits of the living are consumed in the ritual. They're not coming back. All is well. 
As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye. Yeah, that's a bit concerning. Right. That's really concerning. Alright, let's find a campfire. Because I'm assuming once we get to the end, Seeker wasn't lying help. about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. Let's go into here first and chill. How about that? That sound like a plan? Shelter. If you need a fire to warm you up. I'll grab this first. And... I thought that plate was shining. Okay. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. Leather. Alright, let's start this fire. Rest so we can upgrade a little new rifle and the uh, the necklace thing. I don't, I don't remember what it was called. Okay, there's a note. The incarnate, incarnate, and the invisible. As Theono, uh, Theono of Cro Croton Wrong wrote centuries ago. Our world exists in two forms, depending on how humans perceive it. A place of heat and fire and warm earth. The incar incarnate is the world as perceived by the living. A place of cold and water and ice earth. The invisible is the world as perceived by the spirits of the dead. This is true, unknown, or misunderstood by most. As witches, we are able to see the invisible without supernatural help with innate talent or hard training. For most humans, perceiving the invisible in this inter entry requires that a willing spirit share their vision. This means that the human must be haunted by the spirit. There must be a soul tie between them. And while the ghost may cross the boundary boundaries and affect the incarnate incarnate in small ways sound cold or heat dark shadows that unnerving feeling that someone is in a empty room with you etc for most of them see the incarnate in all its demonstrations sound color living being etc requires a living human or physical item that acts as a hook or a beacon into the physical world both the incarnate and the invisible are defined by space and time. Theono, correct me if I'm pronouncing these wrong. Theono and all the anti-seekers were so right about the Gemon, Gemetary, and magic. Since I journeyed in both realms, I know un. I now understand the experience of a being within it is very difficult. A small room in the incarnate would feel like the world, the whole world in uh, the invisible. A short moment in the incarnate could stretch for weeks in the invisible. Or a week could pass in the blink of an eye. And although spirits having once been part of the incarnate may perceive it, Times even in interact with it in limited ways. They tend to see the world of the living as blurry and indis indistinct or as a flat backdrop, like painted stage scen sceneries, especially when the linger they linger alone. Only when the fun only when they focus on a specific specific person or place can they see a them as they are they slowly forget the big picture they lose the world as a whole since they are lost in the between as witches it is our duty to help them find their place and help the living be uh, safe even if those will hate 
is since they can't see like we do, nor accept the truth, we know the seeker. Interesting. Alright. Let's get some upgrades going. Upgrade that. Thank you kindly. And switch. I thought I switched the rifle. Oh, is this the rifle? Each weak spot. Yeah. I'm so confused. Okay, how much does this upgrade do? 31. Uh, yeah, no, this, this is higher in general. But yeah, we're going to keep that one. And actually rest, rest. Oh, bugger. For years, Kate Newsmith believed she did not measure up to her sister. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting this. Now she knows that in her kindness, she is at least her sister's equal. Thick skin has paid for her sins. But what of her sister? What will Kate do now? Her people look to her. For their future. Their protection. Their survival. Well, if I would have known that, that was going to happen, I would have rested a long time ago. I wonder since that happened, did anything change in the camp? But alright guys, I'm going to call it there for this episode. Thank you so much for watching all the way through, and if you wish to continue this series with me, please go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for future episodes, guys. Peace out, keep being awesome, and I'll see y'all in the next video.